And the Joe Berger football camp was held at Nuevo High School today, but with, of course, some changes because of COVID-19. Right. Jason Hutton tells us how the camp not only went on as planned, but remained free of charge. Straight down, straight back. The Joe Berger Youth Football Camp looked a little different this year. Cones marked places for the kids to stand to attempt to keep a distance. Campers were pre-screened and split into two groups by grade to keep the numbers under 100 per session. And walk-ups were not allowed. Still, a ton of fun was being had. Oh, they're having a riot. They're having a riot. They don't know any different. Like I said, they're making comments about how much fun they're having. For the first seven Joe Berger Youth Camps, the NFL provided a grant to cover the cost. This year, due to the pandemic, the NFL is not providing funds for any camps, but that wasn't going to stop the former Dolphins, Cowboys, and Vikings offensive linemen from giving the kids this opportunity. With what went on in the spring and not even now, we can't call businesses and ask them for money, you know, and uh, and yet they stepped up on their own, and it just shows what a community like Nuego and the grant in the area here uh, means and how important these kids are to them. Not only did the businesses come forward with enough money to fund the camp, directors actually had to turn some down because they already had enough to cover the cost. I love sponsoring this camp. I knew Joe from uh, when I was a teacher here, and it's great. You know, these kids come out, they have fun. Comments these kids are telling me today, you know, I don't like to fail. I didn't know if I'd like this camp. Everyone supported me, and we're having a lot of fun. This year's camp also brought together the football coaching staffs at Nuego and Tri-County for instruction. Vikings head coach Phil Butler also represents a business, Offseason Sports Academy, that sponsored the event. We're excited just to do football drills with little kids and be excited, um, you know, and then and then for Joe's passion for the communities and the kids and just to see, you know, the, the joy in their eyes. That's what it's about. That's one of the great things of growing up in a small town and, you know, in this small town is it the, the business owners in this area, they care about our youth, they care about the kids and uh, they want to do what they can to support, to support them. As high as Joe holds his community, the outpouring of support still came as a little bit of a surprise considering the times. It's no secret that it's been a tough time, you know, since, since March here for, for a lot of businesses and just people in general. And um, to, see, to see the love and support that they were able to give through that, oh uh, yeah, it did, it did surprise me a little bit. In Nuego, Jason Hutton, Fox 17 News.